Hello everyone, it's Trace Face. It is Friday evening. I'm sitting here on my deck in uh, sunny, beautiful Orlando, Florida. And um, I've had an amazing week and I have to go home tomorrow and I really don't wanna go home. <laughs> um, I had so many thoughts and I just, I've just been enjoying myself so much this week that um, I tried to jot them down and, and take little notes as I went this week so I didn't kind of lose my train of thought as some of the things I wanted to talk about um, in particular. So I'm gonna try and remember some of them. Um, you know, as I, as I sit here in such a beautiful state and there's so much to do in Orlando and I love Orlando, it's just like one of my favorite places because it's so nostalgic for me because um, my father, and my mother used to take my brother and I here every year when we were kids. They would pull us out of school to come down here for vacation. And um, so it just means a lot to me, you know, thinking back to, uh, I just like want to cry thinking about it. Just what a, a terrific man my father is. And my mother is a wonderful woman to want to do that for their kids, you know, and um you know, I had these thoughts this week, just kind of like thinking about my brother and his wife and their two beautiful kids. You know, my brother's um, three years older than me and um, it brings tears to my eyes to just see their family. You know, they have this beautiful <laughs> um, three and a half year old and they have a seven year old um, boy and so it's like watching my brother and I all over again, the same years apart and everything. And they're just like their own little people, you know? And they're just so awesome and they're just so amazing. Like they're just, they have their own personalities and they're, they're just so unique. And I was thinking about how, you know, as their aunt, like I'm gonna be playing a, a huge role in their life as they get older. And I have to do things right. I have to get things right because, you know, they're gonna be looking up to me and what I tolerate and what I uh, allow, you know, I, I would never want to see that for them. You know, the things that I have allowed in, in my life in the past in dealing with narcissists and borderlines and all, and all these kinds of personality types I allowed into my life. But um, I, I did want to discuss, t you know, um, as they're all coming back here in the room, I'm out here on the porch. Um, I did want to discuss today, um, what happens, um, you know, as, as the narcissist goes on in life, um, I think we all know that their purpose is that they are trying to continuously have control, um, over, over all people in all situations, right? Well, as that goes on, um, their whole thing that they're trying to do is they would rather see uh, you get hurt or anybody else in their line of fire because that's how they consider people like they're just in their line of fire so they're trying to get um they they want it to be where like they would much rather see you or anybody else in their life get hurt or um be the one that's controlling that hurt than them ever having to be the one to go through it that is their worst fear their worst nightmare you know, um, they are trying at all times to be in the control seat at all times. And if forever, whatever reason it ever came down to it, do or die, it's going to be you. Okay. They would never, ever step in front of a, bu you know, in front of a moving bus for you. Um, they will at all times. I mean, there are people out there too that have these commitment issues as well. And they're doing that as, as well. You know, they might not be a full-blown narcissist, but they have these commitment issues. And their whole thing is like, I will end this right now before um, it ever gets to the point that I have to, I have to commit to this person. And I'm sure many of you have, have met or dated um, somebody like that. But that's what they're trying to avoid. They had serious wounds that happened to them as children. Uh, serious traumas that happen to them as children. So at all times, they are they are trying to avoid uh, anything that's going to to be similar to that feeling that they had when they were children, which is that feeling of 
of trauma, that feeling of that deep seated feeling of hurt they're trying to avoid. So, um, you know, that's, that's what they're doing. They're trying to avoid that at all costs, at all measures. So that is why you'll see them continuously triangulating and having different people in their life at all times. Um, so that they're just avoiding ever getting hurt. So if they really do have, you know, deep down, like have feelings or care for you, um, which as we know for a narcissist, it's never the same kind of feelings and care that like somebody like you or I would have. Um, but they are trying to make sure that they're still in control of that because God forbid you ever got up and decided that you didn't want to deal with them any longer. They have got to have people lined up. Um, it's sad, really. It's a sad sad situation when you think about it um they don't know which end is up or down all the time they don't know they don't know how they feel because their moods are continuously changing they are constantly on you know going from one extreme to another um with their moods and um they're trying to regulate their feelings and their emotions at all times as well um, they're actually the most miserable people. I was thinking about Florida and how like, like Florida is just too sunny and too positive for narcissists. I'm sure most narcissists wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't thrive down here because it's too, ha it's too happy of a place. <laughs> um, any place that's happy really, you know, they, they would despise Disney world. My God, they, you wouldn't see them step foot in magic kingdom. Um, so yeah, deep down, they're just not happy people. Um, they are masking or they are living through somebody else's happiness or somebody else's vibration. Um, somebody had put a comment in, in one of my other videos uh, discussing uh, what, you know, the ailments that, that uh, you, can, you can go through or even that you can see the narcissist go through um, because they're vibrating at such, a, at such low levels all the time. And um, that low vibrating energy is going to bring one's immune system down or um, uh, I've seen a lot of this. I've heard a lot of people discuss this, that they're going to um, the narcissist uh, will complain about back pain, um, skin issues, losing their hair. Um, and then what happens eventually is that you're going to start these these they're projecting these kind of things onto you. So eventually, a lot of the times, I've, I've heard a lot of these stories, and I personally can attest to this as well. What you're seeing them go through um, a year or two or three or down the line, all of a sudden, you're going through the same thing. And it's because they've got you to this low vibrating place. And your body and your mind and your, and your heart and your spirit and your soul are all sick, okay? And it's all connected. I know, you know, you may not think it is. Or you may actually go to the doctor and the doctor is going to say, well, yeah, you know, um, you might have this bone spurt in your foot or whatever. No. No. I guarantee you guys, when you guys get out, like I said before, you're going to start noticing all this stuff. When you start surrounding yourself by nothing but healthy people and you make, a, you make a promise to yourself that that's the only kind of people you're going to surround yourself with, these kind of ailments and these kind of sicknesses and these kinds of things that you were dealing with when you were with the narcissist or anybody in this cluster B kind of personality, or I call it spiritually disordered personality, um, you are going to start to heal. Um, and guaranteed when another toxic person comes in your life um, through time, you're going to start having weird ailments again. Um, you're going to be tired all the time. I think I talked about this before. Um, you're tired all the time. Your energy levels are just at, at zero. You're drained on all levels. Mostly it's a spiritual draining. It's a spiritual exhaustion that you're experiencing. So you got to get away from these low vibrating people because that's what they are. They vibrate at a very low level. And so um, when, when you're doing that, when you're, when you're living with this kind of a person, you're surrounded by this, this kind of energy, it affects you. It affects you greatly. Um, 
Yes, and yes, I have heard a lot of people talking about how they lose their hair. First narcissist I ever experienced in my life, my hair was coming out in clumps. It was just like it is now, and this was like going back to when I was 22. Um, and I can remember like going to my hairdresser, going to my doctor, being like, what is wrong? Is it the dye? Like, you know, because I had the two-tone hair going on, and... And it just didn't make any sense because it was all of a sudden just start, my hair would be in clumps. And I came back from college and I was living with my mom for a little while, my mom and dad. And, um, and I came back for like six months and I was living with them. And my mom was like, your hair is all over the house in clumps. Um, so, and I, I saw a lot of your comments. A few of you have said, and a, a, somebody else emailed me the same thing about that, about losing their hair. Yeah. Yeah, the narcissist um, loses their hair as well. Their, their hair comes out in clumps all the time. So there's something to that. And um, if anybody wants to comment with me about um, if they ever experienced their narcissist having back pain or they experienced back pain while they were with the narcissist, please comment. Because I'd like to get a show of, uh, you know, a show of hands of how many that's happened to out there as well. Because... Um, it, it's something that I see another trend with this kind. And for those of you that do believe that this thing inside of them is a spirit, yes, it does dwell in the back. It dwells in the spine. The Jezebel spirit dwells within the spine. It's in the spine line because it's trying to kill you. Your spine is your lifeline. So um, it's very serious stuff, you know, and I don't make light of any of this, you know. I do try to make jokes here and there to, to get us all to laugh and try to move on with our life. But this is very serious stuff. And again, the more time you're away from these kind of people, the more you're going to be able to recognize when somebody else has traits or somebody else is unhealthy or operating at low vibrating levels, pessimistic levels that you don't want in your life. So that's the message I really wanted to send tonight. Um, in talking about two separate things. One is that the narcissist has to be in control and has to, to um, hurt you before you hurt them. That's their whole goal and ult ultimatum you know, that, that they're gonna give. Um, they are not gonna lose. In their mind, they're gonna win every game and you're gonna lose and um, that's how they think. And they will bring you down in, in, in these vo low vibrating levels unless you're aware of it, unless you get out and stay out. I am Trace Face. Um, very sad to be leaving Florida tomorrow, but I have some pretty big goals that I'm working on that I'm very proud of myself and I'm getting, I'm getting there and it's gonna take time. Um, and I'm not sharing my goals with anyone. They're my goals. I'm not gonna say them out loud. I, I encourage all of you to do the same thing. Keep your goals to yourself. Because you might even think that somebody in your family or somebody that is on your side or somebody that, but somebody always has something to say, you know? And it's just best that you keep um, your, your, your goals to yourself um, because, <coughs> excuse me, that one person could just say one thing that's just going to like, I don't know, ruin your whole, um, your whole idea that you have for yourself, your, your whole thing that you're trying to work on, you know, and it might just be, they're coming from a good place of like, oh, hey, did you ever think though that maybe you want to do this or that, or have you thought about this? Keep it to yourself until you, you start to notice that you're getting closer and closer to your goals, you know, keep that to, to yourself, you know, and I'm learning that too. Like I got to keep a lot more to myself. I used to be such an open book to everybody, you know, and it's not good because there's always someone looking to crap on you. Okay. So that's the message for tonight. I will talk with you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching my channel and supporting what it is that I have to talk about. And please like, share, um, comment your experiences. It's the only way that's gonna help. We're gonna help one another and get this information out to keep people away from toxic individuals. I'm Trace Face. It's time we all face the truth together.